You gotta live the dream, big man. You gotta think these things. Now we have a, a set of uh, Ernie Ball custom wound gauge guitar. From my, this is from my electric guitar. So I'll just let you see the. Um, I must do my electric guitar as well, folks. That's probably didn't change as well. So now, as you can see, the top string then is quite thick, man. It's uh, a 46. Okay, so that's quite thick. Then we have 36 for the uh, the A string. And then the D string is 26. As you can see, it's coming down in increments of 10. And then we go to the uh, the G string, or the G string, which is uh, the first wire one. So there we go, that's a 17. And then it's a 13. A 13 there? Yeah, 13. And then I've got a 10. So that's a, a light gauge one I've got there. So there we go, that's my electric guitar. So for the electric guitar, I like a light gauge because um, well, it's, it's, it's what happens is, is the strings aren't so loud but they're more flexible, so you can sort of you know, do bends and things. Whereas on an acoustic guitar, I like my guitar strings. Again, I think I like them to about a 10, but I don't really do anything fancy on my, on my acoustic. It's more like a rhythm. There we go, I always, I always hit that. Uh, anyway, so yes, that's the uh, from electric guitar, which I, I must do actually. And I think I actually need to try and set the action on my acoustic just ever so slightly, just bring it down a little bit, man. But I'm too scared. You start mucking around with it, um, and all sorts of things happen. So, but I've just noticed over the last couple of years, it started. And I think the neck sort of just ever so slightly bends over the years. There is a truss rod in here which you can tighten um, to straighten the, the neck out if it gets a severe bend, like if there's a sudden heat uh, or cold. You know, um, it can really warp the neck quite badly. That's why you're supposed to keep your guitar. In a, a room that's the same temperature, because sometimes I notice, like if it's had a really cold day, and this room is, is a little bit cold, the, the guitar strings sort of loosen. They get a little bit sort of whoa, and they go down a, a tone. Well, not quite a tone, but uh, anyway. And if it's been really warm, the sun's shining in, then I notice that the strings are, are a little bit tighter, which is a, a weird thing, isn't it? So there we go. Um, I haven't got time to do this just now, so I'll do this at a, a later date. That's my guitar strings, folks. Yes. It's now time for tea. This little wooden puzzle. Let's see what that's all about. In four, four little pieces. There's the the solution, which I won't look at. So to try and get this into a T shape. it done. Oh hang on, it looks a bit squint doesn't it? I think, oh I've dropped it again, I can't believe it. Honestly, so that bit must go there and that bit goes there to complete. Oh no, that, that is wrong. What's going on? I think I must have been right the first time. For goodness sake. Yeah, there we go, look. And then that bit goes on there to make the T. No, it looks a bit Skewer, that's not a T, is it? That's better. Well, that bit doesn't quite fit in properly, so it must be. Must fit in. Hmm. Right, what is going on here, folks? For some reason, this bit doesn't seem to want to fit in properly. Is that it? That must be it, surely. Yeah, but it looks a bit sort of pointy over there. Like... Is that it? More or less, that's it, isn't it? Yes. Right, there we go. Oh, All right, oh, folks, oh. here we are. Good morning. It's uh, 
We're here on Balloonie Avenue. No, the drive. That's, uh, the avenue's that one. The drive is this one. So I've just been driving around here. I've just noticed. See these lampposts, man. These uh, lampposts. They all have numbers on them. I've just noticed. So this one's 112. And as you go along, it's 112, 13, 14, 15. And 140 is the last one along there. So they've also all been numbered from um, the very start of the, the, uh, the drive. Um, so they don't want to be probably way along at Morrison's, I'd imagine, because they come along that road. Um, so I've never noticed that before. Well, I probably have, but never taken it in. So they've all got numbers. So this one is the famous 112. This one's forever be famous. Lamppost number 112. Do they still call them lampposts? I don't know. So are they neon LED lights now or something, aren't they? I think they come on when you drive underneath them, which is a great saving device, isn't it? The skies are ominously black over there. Look at that, man. A grey urban industrial landscape behind me there. This is the uh, the, the grim part of it. Well, not grim, but it's just the sort of, you know, where all the industry takes place. That's the, uh, I see incinerator there, which uh, had a fire a few, I can't remember, was it a few years ago, yeah. Oh, sorry, the incinerator's way over there, big part, it's way over there. It's getting rebuilt. Uh, yeah, so they had a bad fire there, man, and the smoke was belching out of it. Horrible. So they are actually in the process of rebuilding it. Yes, that's the, the grim urban landscape. Right, Thank folks, you. here we are at work. Today is the uh, Christmas party for the customers, so I'm going to try and uh, do a little video of that. It's just we serve them food, the entertainment, and a couple of games of bingo. So, yeah, I'll try and maybe do a little video. I normally do one for the uh, the club, so we'll, we'll try and do it. Anyway, here we go. This is the best start to a song ever. This is called Insomnia by Fida. Let's see if we can do right, it. Here we go. On. Listen to this, man. Oh yeah, what a start to a song, as I said, Insomnia by Fida. Now, I've been watching some videos about this uh, this new rules, the new laws and regulations for YouTube concerning um, uh, sort of children and how you're supposed to make videos now that are suitable for children to watch. If there's any swearing in them, they automatically get taken off and it's oh, it's, 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 it's horrific, man, what, they, what they've done. So, like people that do family vlogs and everything, what's gonna happen to that? I mean, my, I don't know what's gonna happen to my channel because sometimes Chelsea Lee appears on it. I, I don't know what, what to do, man. So we're in a bit of a, um, a, bit, a bit of a flummox. We don't know what to do because um, they, they'll take the adverts off. They won't uh, give you the adverts that, you know, it's, it's weird how they work this algorithm. Um, like say for example you watch my videos but you also watch like WWF or something right what you'll find is next time you go onto the uh, onto my channel it'll be a, an advert for a wrestling game or something you know they, they target the they find out what you're watching and uh, they, they make adverts specifically spe specifically for you yeah so it's uh, amazing how it works and the, and the Google brain uh, can now go frame by frame through your video and uh, it, you know if a song's on it it'll just automatically take that off and Oh man, it's just going to be, we're going to have to really watch what we're doing, man. As content creators, that's what we're actually calling that. We're not YouTubers, we are content creators, I believe. Hmm. What did I say? I was a content maker, yes. One, you want yellow 39, red 16, blue 56, yellow 33. Right, folks, hello and welcome to Mecca where today we have our Christmas party for the customers. As you can see, we're getting them all set up here. Christine's hard at work. We've got crackers, yes, crackers, we've got hats, they get a meal, we've got some entertainment, and they get a game of bingo as well. So let's hopefully, uh, this will be chocolate block next time I see you, folks. This is the uh, cranberry sauce, yes, loads of cranberry sauce, love it. Great stuff. White 80, blue 46, white 73, red 15, white 79, white 63, Yellow 25, blue 50, white... I'm 
I actually die But I wish I was playing with the band One more time Before I go Oh well, I'm just lying here in this bed My familiar thoughts spread on my head And I wish I was playing with the band One more time Before I go I've got one more